Hey everyone, what's happening? Uh, well, today I'm just going to talk about density and molar volume. This is a, a review for some and new for others. Um, now, density, it's a, if it's ever mentioned in a problem, you should probably think or you should immediately think of the density equation. And density equals mass divided by volume, and we've got grams over liters. Now, if the volume of a solid or liquid is unknown, we're going to use the volume equals mass over density. If the mass is unknown, find the mass from the number of moles and then solve for the density or volume. Now these, remember these are just some rules uh, that you need to take into account when using the density formula. Um, if, the vo if the molar volume is unknown, the molar mass is used. So remember that the volume of a gas cannot be used um, for solid or liquid. So 22.4 liters does not apply to a solid or liquid. Now if the density is unknown, we just need the mass and volume. Now sometimes you might be given the number of atoms, number of molecules, um, but all we're going to do is we're going to convert um, through moles from whatever those are to our mass. All right, So we're going to use our conversion table. Now if neither the mass or the volume is known, the density can be found by using the one mole of gas at STP occupies 22.4 liters. This is really, really important. And so what we get is we density equals mole mass and this is our molar mass over 22.4 liters. Now this is only for a gas at STP and we can instantly find the density. Now what's going to happen is you're going to be given a uh, some sort of uh, molecule and you can find the molar mass and you can find the density because at STP it only occupies 22.4 liters. Then we can use that density to find um, the volume of different amounts of that compound. Now if the number of moles are unknown, use the density and volume and then convert to mass from moles. And finally, um, this last rule type of thing is if the molar mass of a gas at STP is unknown, um, the data given is usually the mass and volume of a small amount of gas. In this case, the density using the in this case, find the density using the given data and then use the density number with that volume of one mole equals 22.4 liters. So we're going to do a few examples here. What is the density of pH3 gas at STP? Well, whenever we hear the word density, we're going to go density equals mass over volume. Now, we have what is the density of this gas at STP. So we know at STP we're occupying 22.4 liters. Now to find this mass we need to use the molar mass. And then we look on our periodic table of elements and we find that phosphorus has a molar mass of 31 grams per mole and hydrogen has one. So the total volume or the, the total mass, sorry, of this is 34 grams per mole. We put this bad boy right in there, and we find the density of this, which is 1.1, 1 1.517 1 grams per liter. So that's our first example. Next, if you have a 16.5 grams of arsenic trihydride. Um, at STP, how many liters do you have? So we've been given a mass of a gas, and we're going to determine how many liters we have. Now, what we're going to do is we've got our density formula equals mass over volume. And we're looking for the amount of liters. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the density using this number of grams, and then we're going to find the liters at STP. So arsenic has a molar mass, we have one of them, and it has a molar mass of 74.9 grams. And hydrogen, we have three of them, and they each weigh one, and we get 74.9 plus three, and we get 77.9 grams per mole. Now this comes in really, really handy because we know the molar mass now of ASH3. So what we can do, is we're going to get our density using the fact that one mole of something, one mole of anything, occupies 22.4 liters of space at STP. So we have 77.9 grams, and this occupies 
liters. We find our density equal 3.477 grams per liter. Okay, so that's key. We found the density. Now we're going to relate that density back to our 16.5 grams. So we have 3.477 grams per liter. And we started with 16.5 grams of ASH3. And we're going to find our volume. So what we do is we can swap these. And we get volume equals 16.5 grams over 3.477 grams per liter. Our grams cancel out and we're left with, after we calculate this, 4.74 liters of ASH3. We're on to our next example. If the density of a gas is 6.725 grams per liter at SDP, calculate the molar mass. So we've been given density and we want to calculate the mass. All right, so we've got the fact that we've got 6.725 grams per liter, and we don't know the mass. But we do know the fact that we're at STP, so we know at STP we automatically think of 22.4 liters that it occupies. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this side by 22.4 to get rid of it. Multiply this side by 22.4. Those cancel out to 1, and we're left with 150.64 grams of that specific gas. And finally, our last question, what is the volume of 0 0.0694 moles of molybdenite um, if it has a density of 4.8 grams per liter? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down our formula for density. Density equals mass over volume. Now, we've been given moles, so we need to get converted into mass, so we're going to find the molar mass of this. We've got MO, we've got S, we have one of these and two of these, and we have times 95.9 and times 32.1. We add these bad boys up, and we get 160.1 grams per mole. All right, so that's how much mass we have for one mole. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to determine how many grams we actually have. 0 0.0694 moles, and we're going to get it into grams. So we want moles on the bottom, and we're going to put 160.1 grams over here. And we get 11.11 grams. So that's the, vol that's the mass we're starting with. Well, we've been given the density, so we put 4.80 grams per milliliter in for our density. We now know our mass, and we're going to find our volume. We can swap these bad boys out, and we get volume equals 11.11 grams over 4.8 grams per milliliter, and we get 2.31 milliliters. Or we could write this as 2.31 times 10 to the negative 3 liters. All right. That's a few density questions. We're going to go over this more in class. Have a good rest of the day.